Hey, it's Jessica here from The Sewing Family. I wanted to make a video for you today to show you how to make custom thank you labels for your e-commerce business or your business where you're selling maybe on Etsy or anytime that you are delivering products to a customer, um, whether they're handmade or otherwise. This is just a fun way to create these stickers that you can have for your products. It gives it some personal flair and a nice touch and it looks pretty professional and it's very, very inexpensive. Now the caveat is I do already have a Rolo printer, so they're not <laughs> inexpensive, um, but there are many different types of label printers that are thermal. And so I just wanted to show you because I looked into getting some custom stickers created and they're like $150 for um, 500. And the way that I'm gonna show you after you have the printer already, the stickers that I'm going to use are from Off Nova, and I chose them because they're white stickers with a colored background or color print. Um, and a lot of times thermal is in black print, and so that's why I really like these. So these ones, um, actually, they're like 22 bucks for 500 of them, and I get them on Amazon. You can get them on Off Nova as well, and I'll have links to everything below. Um, but these ones, like I said, 22 bucks. So you're looking at like four cents per sticker rather than um, $150 for 500. So I think it's, um, you know, it's a great deal and it's pretty fun too. So um, if you don't have an account on Canva, um, I believe you can do this with the free version. I'm not 100% sure um, since I do have the paid version. Sometimes it's hard for me to tell what the pro elements are. But what we're going to do is once you're logged into Canva, you're going to go to create a design. Now the stickers that I have and I'm showing are a 2.25 by 2.25. So I'm going to go ahead and click create a design and then I'm going to do custom size. And then I'm going to change this from pixels to inches and I'm going to type in 2.25 by 2.25 and then create new design. So this is the exact size of the sticker section. Now the stickers are circle not square. So we need to make sure that we have that done as well. Um, now one cool thing is that Canva has a ton of templates already for thank you stickers. So you can really like cut this time really short and you can be done in like a few minutes. So if you just go here where it says templates, um, just type in a thank you sticker. And look at that. There's all these really cute circle thank you stickers. And there are some that aren't circle, that aren't circle. Obviously we don't want those for the circle stickers that I have, um, but any of these will work. And so like in minutes, you guys, we can have these custom stickers. So one that I really like is this one here. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on it. And you can see that it just puts it right into the square that I already made. Now, a few things that we need to do in order to make these fit on the circle stickers that I have. Um, we want to make sure that we're taking up as much space as we can in this square. So you can see that this circle design is not all the way stretched to the edges. So I'm going to move everything and just make it bigger. So I'm going to just highlight everything. I'm going to actually get rid of this white background so it's not in my way. Uh, or lock it maybe. Because I don't want to be grabbing that. But I want to grab everything else. So I'm going to drag and drop. and then. Now I have everything, I'm gonna group it. And now I'm just gonna make it to where this circle goes all the way to the edges. Now I'm actually not going to be printing the circle because I don't need it um, since I have a circle sticker already, but I just wanna make sure that I'm using as much space as possible. So now I can ungroup this and I can adjust the individual elements. So I'm gonna leave this circle here just as a guideline on where I can use the area for my sticker. So um, first we have here where it says, um, thank you for supporting my small business. Now you can leave it just like that, or you can change it to say whatever you want. So you could put thank you for supporting my small business and then put your business name down here at the bottom. Um, you could make it say, um, thank you for your purchase and then your website name. You could also put your logo in here. Whatever you wanna do, it's totally up to you. So I'm gonna do, 
thank you. And then I'm gonna do thank you for your purchase. And then down here, I'm gonna put my website name. Okay, so I have, thank you for your purchase, thesellingfamily.com, leave these little hearts. Now, one thing I wanna mention is when you use a thermal printer, because it's not using ink, um, you can't have multiple colors. So everything that I print on this label is all going to be the same color. The labels that I'm using right now are a white sticker with a pink ink or thermal print. I don't know if it's called ink, but um, it'll be pink. So everything on here will be pink, whether it's the black font or this pink heart. It's all going to be exactly the same. So keep that in mind whenever, you're, whenever <laughs> you are using a thermal printer. Okay. Now, these are not coming all the way to the edge of the circle, so I could move them out further. It's totally just your preference. For now, I'm just going to go ahead and leave them where they are um, since they're all perfectly lined up. Okay, so this is pretty much ready to go. The only thing that I need to do is remove this circle. So I don't want to have that since I'm already working with a circle label. So I'm going to go ahead and delete just the circle. Now it's going to look kind of weird not having it there, but remember it's just a template or a guideline. And so I'm going to go ahead just so we can, you know, continue to see what it looks like. I'm going to click duplicate page. So we still have the one with the circle, but then I'm going to click here and I'm going to delete the circle. All right. So now this is what I want to print. So now I'm gonna go up to share and then I'm gonna click download. And then I'm just gonna choose the one that doesn't have the circle and I'll click done. So I am doing a PNG and I'm gonna click download. All right, now that that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and open that up on my computer and then I'm gonna click print. So I'm not going to get into setting up the Rolo printer in this video. If you need help with that or want me to make a video about that, just leave a comment or something and let me know. And I can do that in a separate video. Um, but I do have it set up already as a 2.25 by 2.25 page. All right. So here we go. Clicking print. And just like that, that prints out and it's super, super fast. And so they rip off just like that. They're I never get them perfect. Um, but as you can see, it says, thank you for your purchase. Thank you, thesellingfamily.com. Or thank you for your purchase, thesellingfamily.com. And you can make this say whatever you want. Here's some other little test ones that I did getting ready for the video. This one, I did a full color background and then just used white font. I kind of like it, except for my edges didn't come out perfect. So I, I have to play with that a little bit. Um, all right, so let's get back now into Canva. All right, so um, what I want to do now, that's it, right? So that was just a couple of minutes to show you how to do it. Um, what I like to do is try a whole bunch of different ones, okay? So like I said, you could make it go out further. You could, um, there's a lot that you could do. So when you're in Canva, just add multiple pages and tweak things around. So like we can go here, add another page. And just like look at all of these templates over here and see which ones you like the most. You can take elements from some of them. Um, let's see, there was one, I, the one I really liked with the flower. Okay, this one, I really liked this one a lot. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this one as a new page. Now, in order to do this one, um, I would need to do a few changes. So I already have this template up here and here. Um, so what I'm going to do, rather than edit all of this, I'm just going to copy and paste some of these elements and move them up here. So I'm going to delete the elements that I have here. And now I just have the circle that's kind of my border, my guideline. And then I'm going to copy this thank you and the flower and the for your order. And then I'm going to put that up on this page. Okay, so now these are not big enough to take up as much space in the circle as I would like. So again, I'm just going to group these together and then I'm going to expand them to take up more room in the circle. 
All right, so we're going to get pretty close here to the edges. That looks pretty good. All right, so now for this one, it's basically done. So I can just download it and then um, print it as well. So again, I'm going to first need to delete the circle. Then I'm gonna go to download. Now this one is page number three. And then done and download open that up and then we're just going to click print and then that will print right out right and just that fast and if I printed multiples let's do like four so you can see just how fast these print out so I'm going to go up here. I'm going to go ahead and print four. And then you can see it just takes seconds for these to print out. And then I have all of these now that I could easily put onto a package. So if I had like an Etsy order or an Amazon order, I can easily just plop that right on my packaging. And it's good to go. Now this one doesn't say my business name, so that's probably not very professional of me. Um, but let's say, you know, we use this one instead that has the selling family. So you go ahead now and play around with what you like the most and what works for your business. Um, if you have your logo, like I said, you can put that on there. Um, you can put the name of your product. You can put your website. You can put a QR code. There's a ton of things that you can put on your thank you label. Um, I hope that this video was helpful. If you have any questions, go ahead and add them to the comments and make sure that if you need a step-by-step -step written that you look at the blog post that goes with this video. So um, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day.